Today on the channel from episode one, the Phantom Menace Collection, we've got Padme in Queen Amidalia. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxings and reviews in 2021 and possibly beyond. But today on the channel, we've got Queen Amidalia and Padme. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. Support the channel, go through the link below, there you go. Uh, but we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it. Maybe a couple of see you laters here, uh, here or there, and the Comtech chip reader. We got to hear what these two have to say, of course, and we'll go from there and see what happens. But we're gonna start it off with old Padme Nabari. I don't know if I'm saying that right. She does come with a Pod Race view screen in part of Collection One, as it says. There it is. We know that packaging. A little glamour shot there. Comtech chip reader. She comes with her own iPad. She's like both of my daughters. They have an iPad at their side at all times, and uh, Padme was uh, kind of ahead of the the uh the world on that i guess a little bit back here in 1998 she was watching that pod race uh, right on the screen real close there she just loved it she loves a good pod race uh don't we all though on the back what do we got we got the cross cell we got jedi master points as you guys know we gotta stack those up uh you got the cross cell like i said warnings all that kind of fun stuff we got the contact chip reader explanation we got that right here ready to go so we'll have that here in a second we got a little bit of blurb for her. We'll read that. And then we got that big generic blurb that, you know, is on the same on every single package here. Let's see what it says. Let's get down to it. Padme Nabari is a handmaiden to the young Queen Amidala of Naboo. Padme is a trusted advisor and privy to many important state secrets. And maybe secrets about boys, as my kids would say. Who knows? But there it is. All right, let's get old Padme out of the package here. Open her up. Let's see. And see you later. Get out of here. Uh-oh. We're losing her out of the prison. See you later. Plastic prison. Falling out. I want Padme jumping. She's got her screen race on there. All that fun stuff. There's old Padme in the plastic prison. See you later. Right off the screen. What's it say on the contact chip? Handmade into Queen Amidalia. There you go. As we always say, these are great because they do double as a stand for the figures, which is probably better than the Comtech chip, if you ask me, uh, reader. Um, we do got the pod race screen. No stick, a eh, little sticky, not really sticky. I expected this to be more sticky, but it's like a little iPad is what this looks like. So, uh, or a turtle communicator. It looks a lot like a turtle communicator on the back is what it looks like, but is what it is. But we care about Padme and ah, uh, Padme's got the sticky She's got the sticky disease. Oh, just ruins the whole day. You got to wash your hands. You got to immediately get the tape out, take care of this mess. Absolutely hate it. She's glowing too. She's glowing because I think her face is melting from the plastic disintegrating. So it looks like she's got the sticky disease all over the place. Um, but yeah, she's got the power of force style articulation, as we always call it. We got the legs, we got the arm, we got the head, we got the waist. We got the stickiness, which Power of the Force didn't really have the stickiness. It's more the Phantom Menace and some of the Power of the Jedi stuff. So there's a change in plastic somewhere around there that did that. Quite the detail on her hair on the back. There is some serious detail on those braids. A lot going on in that hair department, but it's Star Wars. Princess Leia had the same thing. She had a lot going on in the hair department as well. See, she holds this right in her hand. It fits in her hand perfectly for uh, hot pod racing action on her screen there. Not terrible, not my favorite, not the worst. I've seen better, I've seen worse. So there you go. She's got very weird feet. She's got one where she's kind of standing up at a weird angle, and she's got one flat foot. That's a little strange. Ah, oh, my fingers are sticky. It's just disgusting. You guys know I hate that. It is what it is, though. But let's see what it says on her Comtech chip here. As we're ready to go, let's see what we got. I've been trained in defense. I can take care of myself. She can take care of herself. This sounds like a little boy. It sounds like a five-year-old boy talking. You're a funny little boy. How do you know so much? There you go. These junk dealers must have a weakness of some kind. I've been trained in defense. I can take care of myself. So she's got three little sayings there she does. And actually, it's weird how some of these are much clearer than others. Her voice seemed very clear through this, where you got some of the new gun rays of the world that sounds just like mishmash garbage you can't understand. So I don't know. I don't know what's up with this technology. Foreign technology for me. 1998 is so long ago. It was high school times, uh, early high school times for me. 
Uh, not a lot going on uh, in the technology department back in the 90s, was there? I don't know. We, we had our dismans. Uh, any other good technology in the 90s? I guess the computer really has really hit home and everybody. I think I got my first uh, desktop at our house and internet and all that in 1995. Good old AOL. Gotta love AOL. Uh, where are you at, AOL? Come on back. It's time for you to rise from the ashes and come back. But yeah, mid-90s technology. I think technology really jumped forward in the 2000s, didn't it? I think we're in the future now. It's all, almost Jetson's time, I think. Uh, but there you go. There's old Padme. She is what she is. Uh, I can't say I'm going to recommend her. I don't know if this is really a must-have. Unless you're putting together a sick pod racing scene, then you might need her. But it is what it is. But there's old Padme. Now we turn our attention to the queen. What queen you say? Queen Amidala, I say. Let's take a look at her packaging. Darth Maul up top. Star Wars Episode One. Glamour shot. Comtech chip. Her looking only like she can look. She's got two blasters, very Naboo blasters. When I say the, and you can tell, I don't know what it is, but whenever you see say a new Naboo blaster to me, I'm going to go with my mind to those kind of blasters. We've seen it with the Rick Ollies of the world and some of the guards and stuff. A very uh, distinct style to the blasters of Naboo. I don't know if anybody else has ever noticed that. I'm sure somebody has. I can't be that bit much of a trendsetter. There she is on the back. Cross cell, Jedi Master Points, Comtech Talk, Classified Blurb, all the fun stuff. Let's see what it says about the old Queen Amidalia. The young and newly elected ruler of Naboo, Queen Amidalia desperately attempts to save her planet from the greedy Trade Federation. With help from Jedi Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So there you go. So this is more battle-ready Queen Amidalia, very similar to Princess Leia, you know, when she's got her blasters firing and stuff, you know. It's not all gowns all the time for these queens and princesses. Sometimes they get their hands dirty, dresses dirty, uh, they go off all guns blazing, and that's exactly what the queen's doing here. So I do think you might need this one to represent, depending on what your setup is. See you later. Whoa, coming back like a boomerang. Falling out of plastic prisons. See you later, up high. Comtech Chip says, status, she's the elected leader of Naboo. Good for her. Nice little picture on here. I like these Comtech Chips. I don't really care for the reader a whole lot. I and mean, it's a fun little gimmick for two seconds to do. But I do like the stand aspect, which I always say. And the picture, so you know what figure it goes to. It's pretty genius, if you ask me. There she is in the plastic prison. And there she goes, jumping to her death. Get these blasters out of here. Oh, sticky. Look at this sticky mess. Oh, gosh, just the bane of my existence stickiness see you later i might just be somebody that hates stickiness you know some people hate like uh, uh faux fur and stuff like that they don't like to touch it they don't like you know nails on a chalkboard i think my kryptonite is action figure stickiness look at this look at this it's so sticky i can't even get off my finger that is my kryptonite sticky fig fingers figure <laughs> sticky fingers and sticky figures either or choose your own adventure as we say on the channel oh she's got the sticky robe you know, this is a hot mess review. If you love your figure sticky, this you came to the right video. This is uh, the right video for you guys that love sticky figures. <laughs> I can't say it. Figures? Fingers? Sticky fingers or figures. Doesn't matter. But she's got two blasters. She's ready to go. Very Power of the Force esque. Because you guys know, Power of the Force figures, everybody came with two weapons. For whatever reason, they said, hey, we're putting two weapons with all these people. That's what the queen gets here. Good for her. I'm going to put her on this stand because I'm sick of holding her because she's so sticky. Ugh, it's just gross. It's just gross. I just feel it's the old Jolly Rancher that's been sitting in the sun. Your kid sucked on it for a while, spit it out in the back seat, and it's in the carpet, and it's hot and gross and sticky. That's exactly what these figures are. So if you love that sensation of a Jolly Rancher in a hot car on a hot summer day, you'll love Padme and Queen Amidalia, let me tell you. But she's got her kind of robe on, uh, power of the force articulation. You got legs up and down, you got waist, you got head, you got the arms. Two blasters. Some decent coloring, a nice prune color dress. You know, you don't see a lot of prune colors out there anymore, but that's exactly what she has. Let's see what the old Comtech chip says about her. Oh, got to turn it on. Oh, that means we're in business. I'm Queen Amidala. This is my decoy, my loyal bodyguard. Your loyalty is my bodyguard. I wish I had a bodyguard. That's what I need. If we do not act quickly, all will be lost forever. Let's get some blasting going on. I don't know. Hmm. Anyways, nothing too special once again with the contact. But we got to hear her. Not quite as clear as the Padme figure, but pretty clear. So I don't know if it's the female voice comes through the contact chip reader a little better. 
I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comments. But there it is. Padme, Queen Amidalia. You guys give me your thoughts below on these two of the stickiest fi figures. I can't say fingers and figures together. Two of the stickiest figures in all the galaxy. You guys give me your comments on them. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit your notification bell. We got Star Wars videos every single day on top of a million other things going on. You don't want to miss a video. Hit the old notification bell. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. So for the Queen and the Padme, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.